So when we talk about a lifetime, a lifetime of extraordinary achievement at the highest levels of journalism, you know, all of you who are students in the university who are looking for your opportunity, uh, you really can draw tremendous inspiration from uh, his career. And so in introducing him, I want to make a special presentation. Uh, and, I, and I'd like to ask our um, very, very special dean if he would uh, join me uh, at the podium. I didn't tell him we were going to do this. But that's the, that's the great joy of it. He got his start in journalism at City College. And he was the editor of Vector which is the, the engineering and science student magazine uh, that uh, was so loved uh, by so many of the students and faculty and staff at City College. And so we have a surprise memento here for him, the very handsome cover of one of the last issues of Vector that he edited. What better symbolism? So let's give a tremendous welcome to a sturdy son of City College. Welcome home, Dean Stephen Shepard. This feels like a football rally, <laughs> except it's the City University. Uh, well, this, this is a great surprise, Jay, and I think Mike Arena had a hand in this somehow. Uh, it just shows the value of working on student publications. Because I, uh, this is January 1961, which is 40 something years ago. And I was, I was an engineering student at City College and was the editor of this magazine uh, for two years and uh, won all kinds of awards. And it really clinched uh, my determination to uh, be a journalist. Why are we starting this school? Journalists always learn to ask very basic questions to begin with, and that's the first basic and a very good question. And the answer is because there is a very, very clear need for this kind of a school. At the moment, there are only, now we're talking about master's degrees in journalism, we're talking about graduate education now. And at the moment, there are only three master's degree programs in journalism in New York State. There are Columbia, NYU, and Syracuse. They are all private universities. They're very good universities. In, in fact, in the entire Northeast, there is no publicly funded graduate school of journalism, not one. There are undergraduate programs. There are courses you could take at a graduate level in media studies or communications theory. But there's not one publicly funded graduate school of journalism in the Northeast. The private schools charge about $35,000 a year just in tuition. So if you were like me, you didn't have that kind of money. And until this school comes into being, you would have no alternative if you wanted to go to a graduate school of journalism and you couldn't afford the private school. The lack of a public university graduate program in journalism is particularly acute in the New York City area. And we expect to attract many students from the New York City region. Now, you can come to the school if you're out of state, you pay a higher tuition. But the core of the school will be built on people from New York City and New York State. Uh, now, why would students, including you, want to come to our school? The first and foremost reason is that we are going to build a very high quality school. I wouldn't have taken this job. I wouldn't have given up my career in journalism if we weren't going to be able to try to do that, to make a very, very good school that is worthy of you. Second reason, of course, is, is the tuition. <clears throat> we will charge, we haven't set the tuition yet, but you can expect it will be somewhere in the range of $6,000 a year. Now, the program is a little longer than a year, as I'm going to explain, but the tuition is, will be in the range of $6,000 a year. Now, I understand that there are needy students who, for whom even $6,000 is a lot of money, particularly if they can't work because they're going to school. And so we will try, try, to provide scholarship aid to some of the neediest students. Why else would you want to come here? Well, 
We are lucky enough to be in the media capital of the world, New York City. Um, and we will offer what I will describe as this unique summer internship program that will be part of the education, and I'll come to that in just a minute. Let me just tell you some of the basic facts uh, about the school. We will start, uh, as Jay mentioned, in the first students will arrive in September 2006. In other words, a year from uh, this September. We will start with only 50 students because we're building a school from scratch. We need to do it slowly. We need to build a faculty. We need to build a curriculum. We need to see what the student needs are. Uh, and we will ramp the school up over, say, a three-year period uh, to 200 students uh, maximum. Now, that is a very good-sized graduate school of journalism. Columbia is about 200, 210. Um, <clears throat> Uh, Missouri is 200. The only one that's bigger is Northwestern's Graduate School of Journalism in, in uh, just outside of Chicago, which has 300 students. That is the biggest one. But there are very many that are a lot smaller. The University of California at Berkeley has only 60 students per year for a two-year program. Uh, University of Maryland, which has a very large undergraduate program, only has 45 graduate students. Uh, University of Southern California, another one with a large undergraduate program, only has 45 graduate students. So this will be a good-sized one once we get it up and running. Um, if you want to be a pioneer in building a very good graduate school of journalism, come to CUNY in the first year or two, because you will be helping us build a school. Um, all of our students will pursue an MA degree in journalism. We're beginning to line up curricula, uh, faculty. Uh, we are uh, interested in recruiting promising students, and we're knee-deep in building a curriculum right now, designing a curriculum. The school will be on 41st Street, um, just uh, between 7th and 8th Avenue. OK, let me set the stage for you. It is one block south of Times Square. It is one block from the Port Authority bus terminal. It is on the edge of the Garment District. This is gritty New York. If you want bucolic education, go to Evanston, Illinois, and go to Northwestern. Uh, this ain't it. This is gritty New York, which is a great place to learn journalism. Everything will be within a subway ride of where, where we're going to do our reporting. Uh, further good news about it is that we are in the building that was once the home of the New York Herald Tribune which was one of the world's great newspapers. Now, the Herald Tribune has not published since 1966. But I remember it as a kid, and it was a very good newspaper. This is the building, is now a CUNY-owned building, that, the journal, that will house our journalism school in uh, two or three floors of the building. And there will be other CUNY activities in the building as well. If you go down and look, and stand where the Port Authority Burst Terminal is on 8th Avenue, and look towards where this building is. You will see a big hole in the ground on 8th Avenue between 41st and 40th Street, a huge hole in the ground. That is going to be the future home of the New York Times, which will move in there in 2006 and 2007. So we will be neighbors from day one. City University Graduate School of Journalism and the New York Times. And we have talked to them, and we will be able to establish partnerships with them. We be able to have internship programs, mentoring programs, and we'll be able to run seminars at our school uh, that will tie into some of the things that they are doing. Um, so it is a great, great tradition uh, to be in that building, and it is a great location in general, and especially because we'll be literally next door. It will be the very next building uh, will be the New York Times. Now, let me say a little bit about curriculum, um, and this gets a little complicated, so. Um, please uh, pay attention. The um, journalism, graduate schools of journalism come in all sizes. And one of the critical decisions we had to make is how long a program should we do? And there is no template. You know, if you go to law school, it doesn't matter which law school you go to, they're all three years. If you go for an MBA, it doesn't matter which one you go to, they're all two years. I think there are one or two exceptions to that. But basically, it's a two-year MBA program, three-year law degree program. 
There's no such standard when it comes to graduate schools of journalism. Columbia is 10 months. Northwestern is 12 months. Maryland is 15 months. NYU is a year and a half. Missouri is two years. Berkeley is two years. USC is two years. So the first question is, what is the length of our program? And we have settled, we ruled out a one-year program because you can't teach what has to be taught today in one year. There's the whole new media thing that didn't exist just a few years ago. We have to teach that and be in the forefront of that. Those of you who heard Len Apcar talk uh, from the Times this morning will we'll see uh, the truth of that. You have to teach law when uh, journalists are facing jail sentences for doing their job. We have to teach students about uh, the legal issues surrounding journalism. We're going to teach ethics when journalists are losing their jobs because they are plagiarizing other people's stories or fabricating stories, as happened with Jason Blair at the New York Times. We have to teach ethics and the proper behavior for journalists. So there are all these new things you have to teach. I never thought I'd live to see the day that you had to tell people, thou shalt not steal somebody else's story. <laughs> Obviously, you do. Um, so we just thought it wouldn't fit in one year. Um, we have settled on a three-semester program, a fall semester, a spring semester, a summer internship program, and a fall semester. Your lapse time is 16 months, OK? Um, the first semester of the program, everybody will take the same curriculum. It will be a core curriculum. It will be built around uh, a reporting and writing course that will be very intensive. Uh, that will take probably two days out of the week to do, um, in which we will teach the eternal verities of our profession, uh, reporting, writing, editing, and the analytic ability to deal with complex subjects. We will teach the storytelling uh, that Len was talking about before, and we will teach it in all media. I'll come to that in a second. Also in that first semester will be the legal and ethics course, there will also be a course in research methods. How, you know, in this day and age of wired world and internet and websites and Google, and um, we have to teach everybody how to use all of these research resources out there. And when he was talking about RSS, which no one d defined, it really it stands for real simple syndication, and it is a powerful, powerful thing. And all of this has to be taught, because most of us don't know very much about it. It's all new, which is very exciting. So you'll have the basic reporting writing, you'll have the legal ethics, you'll have the research thing. And we're talking about a world of new media course for everybody because of the need for convergence and the ability of students to perceive storytelling across media. Then when we get to the second semester, students will have a choice. I'll have two choices, actually. The first choice will be uh, media track. What do you want to be? Do you want to be a newspaper person, a magazine person? If so, you will take the print track. Do you want to be a radio or TV person? If so, you will take the broadcast track. Do you want to be in new media? You want to be in the world of online news, websites? Want a blog? you take the new media track. There will be three courses in each of those tracks. So you have to choose by the second semester which track you want, and we'll help you make that choice. The other choice you have to make is we're going to offer subject concentrations. It's like having a major in college, because we think it's a very good way to pick a subject around which to do your journalism. <clears throat> It'll also give you a little more of a specialized skill, and it may make it easier for you to get a job. In the first year, the three subject concentrations that we're planning to offer, and we're asking on the questionnaire your choices for other ones, but in the first year, urban reporting will be one subject concentration. And I mean urban reporting in the broadest sense. We will deal with all the issues that affect uh, people in New York City. Um, for example, the criminal justice system. For example, immigration policy, housing policy, transportation policy, 
plus all the enthusiasm and energy that goes on in all the communities and ethnic neighborhoods of new york city that will be for people who will hone their skills as urban reporters. the second possible choice in the subject concentration will be business and economics journalism and here we hope not just to do stories on you know the local mom and pop uh, shop in some neighborhood in brooklyn but really to come to grips with the economic issues uh, facing uh, all of us uh, which are about macroeconomic policies which are about uh, economic policies in the city and the state which is about economic issues uh, posed by city government uh, it will help you address questions of uh, what should the minimum wage be in new york city are rent control laws a good idea or do they do more harm than good we want to get people to have an economic framework for thinking about social and economic questions and business questions. We'll teach you how to read annual reports. We'll teach you how to search the web for information about corporations. We'll teach you about covering Wall Street. So if you want business and economics broadly defined, uh, that's the track for you. And the third concentration, uh, we haven't fully decided this, but we're thinking of one uh, in health and medicine. Uh, we it could still be more science writing, but we're thinking of tilting it towards health and medicine uh, because there are so many public policy questions to deal with about Medicare and about Medicaid uh, and about the financing of health care and who gets health care and how is it paid for and the disparities in health care among poor people and well-off people. Um, all these public policy questions, all the research that goes into medical science today, the genome, what are the advantages, what are the ethical questions raised by all these new, new um, advances in, 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 in biology and medicine? What about euthanasia? Is it okay for somebody to, uh, who's got terminal cancer to have assisted suicide? These are journalistic subjects, um, and we will deal with them. We'll, uh, uh, all kinds of other ethical questions that come out from knowing what your genetic structure is and you are more likely to get cancer than somebody else. What are the implications of that? These are all going to be the public policy questions of the future in health and medicine and these are the things journalists are going to have to write about. So those are the three that we're going to start out with. And then in future years when we have more students we'll offer others. The things I'm thinking about are arts culture, art slash culture. You want to be a movie critic? Not a bad idea. Get to see a lot of movies, kind of fun. Want to be a theater critic? Want to be a dance critic? Want to be a book critic? Or you want to be a reporter about the arts institutions in the city? You want to write about Lincoln Center? You want to write about what happened when uh, the Philharmonic almost moved to Carnegie Hall? You want to write about the Bronx Zoo? It's a cultural institution. This is reporting about one of the biggest industries in New York. Want to write about the Broadway theater? As a story, as journalism, uh, that track would be for you. And we're also thinking about an international track. Uh, New York is the most international city in the world. Um, and the United Nations is based here. And a lot of our uh, students uh, come from some other country. They have a natural interest in international uh, stories. So we will try to build that into the curriculum. And there may be other choices in the years to come as we build more electives into the, into the program. Um, in the media track, we are very blessed, if you choose the broadcast track, to have a state-of-the-art uh, public television station, uh, or uh, I shouldn't say that, it's a uh, broadcast station, uh, CUNY TV, Channel 75. It is located in this building. And if you have a chance to see it today, it's a first-rate uh, facility uh, and very good. And we're going to be tied in with them. They will provide internships for our students. They will provide programming outlets. If our students are doing a weekly news show, uh, we can get it broadcast if the quality is good enough on CUNY TV. Uh, it's a real-world way of doing it. And we, there will be a feed from this building where the station is to our, our building where the school will be on 41st Street. But above all, uh, we'll be able to take advantage of our location in New York City. There are numerous, numerous opportunities for reporting in the city for any of the tracks that I talked about. Uh, whether you do it in ethnic neighborhoods, in city government, 
uh, at health facilities. I want to do a story on cancer. We have Sloan Kettering here, uh, the, the premier uh, cancer facility in, in the country. Your business reporter, Wall Street's a train run away. There are plenty of sources, plenty of experts, plenty of adjunct faculty possibilities. We can tap anyone to come in and, and teach a course. Um, New York is our laboratory, our crucible. It's a great place to do journalism.